away starting on Wednesday. Beijing Today, in a couple of minutes, BBC World News begins broadcasting from its new studios in central London. We begin a long goodbye from our home for the last two decades here at Television Centre. International viewers, stay tuned for our exciting new look, which you're, if you're watching in the UK, you'll be able to see if you join us at the same time tomorrow. From me, Nick Gowing, bye-bye. On Tuesday, holiday chill as a... You're watching GMT on BBC World News. I'm George Alagaya. Our top stories. The French foreign minister says his country's military involvement in the West African state of Mali will last a matter of weeks. French air support marks a key moment in Mali's conflict between government forces and Islamist rebels. But could Paris regret the pledge about the length of its intervention? A biting winter for Syria's refugees, the world faces a staggering humanitarian disaster, says the International Rescue Committee, as it issues a warning about the world's failure to take action. Our correspondent, Lise Doucette, is there. Also today, my colleague Lucy Hawkins gives us a guided tour of our state-of-the-art newsroom, which we're broadcasting from for the first time. New look, new studios. I'll be showing you around the BBC's state-of-the-art building on the first day at our new home here in central London. And Aaron's here with the latest from the world of business. George, muscular, sleek and fast. Sorry, my friend, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about this baby right here, the king of the American luxury sports cars, the new iconic Corvette. And yes, born and bred in the United States, but it is about to take on Europe's premium car makers. Hello and welcome to a new look GMT, our first programme from these state-of-the-art studios in the heart of London. Over the next hour, we'll be taking you on a tour of new broadcasting house and show you the world's newsroom. But first, it's 7 a.m. in Washington, midday here in London and Bamako, the capital of Mali. France's Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius says his country's intervention against... Gita, we'll uh, leave it there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yugita Lemay there from the Kumela Festival, and quite astonishing it does seem, doesn't it? Well, there's much more on the Kumela Festival on our website, including a special interactive guide on how organisers prepare for the millions of pilgrims, as well as regular updates from our reporters on the ground. Just go to bbc.com slash news. Do stay with us here on BBC World News. There's more to come. Well, the heat has really been on.